Right guys, today I'm going to be showing you Movinizer. Now I'm going to be showing you a quick overview, not much of an in-depth tutorial, just to show you what it can do. And it's pretty cool, um, I've been using it for a while now, and I have to say it's probably the best movie organiser out there. So let's get started. As you can see here on the left, you have your list of your movies, and in the screen here, or the pane here, whatever you click comes up on the right with various information about the film, who's in it, cast, you can actually view trailers if you wish, it tells you direct tells you everything about the film that you need to know and more. So why is this good? Well if you have a large DVD collection and you know you want to keep a track of all your DVDs you can do it this way which is pretty cool and it actually has a loan facility so if you have a habit of lending your films out this will enable you to find out who you've loaned them to. So we're going to do that now. So you can click loan. So for example, just say you lent out Alice in Wonderland. The location is on the shelf because it's a physical DVD. And you lent it to, say, Ted. Add a loan. And there we go. Simple as that. Now just say my mate brought back Afterlife. Just delete the loan. Sorry. Close the window. Done. Easy as that. And again... If he brings it back, you can click it, delete loan, close window, and you can keep a track of the DVDs you have loaned out. So, let's get adding a movie. So, let's add, what well, I've got Star Wars. Let's add, okay, I can't spell, Empire Strikes Back. Next, and what it's doing, it's retrieving information off the Internet Movie Database. And it's pulling it into the software itself and it's saving it also so you don't have to do anything. It does it all automated. Um, you do have control, don't get me wrong, but everything is automated. So we have the general tab, which basically tells you it's a you know general stuff. We've got description, which is a summary, which is the plot of the film. Awards, we have earnings. If you want to know the earnings, um, you can ask the software to find the earnings for you. Other, so you got studios and composers. What you can do, what you can do is actually add a custom list. So if you wanted, for example, visual effects companies, you can also comment on the film. You got the actors, uh, name and character. So Frank Coz as Yoda and him as the Emperor. Pictures, additions. Now this is going to be for the people who have it stored on their computer, who watches a lot of films through their computer. What you need to do is hit this button here. And we need Star Wars, of course. So let's go for S. Empire Strikes Back. Open. We'll come back to that into one sec. We have Seasons. So if you have a lot of TV shows, um, like 24 or House or anything else, you can then add seasons as well which is pretty cool to watch the film hit play this does have an internal player but the issue is with that it doesn't allow full screen facility at the minute as far as I know I could be wrong but I've been looking on the software and there doesn't seem to be that facility but you can have it open up in an external movie player which is awesome as well. As you can see, it tells you everything about the film, the actors who are in it, um, also when you added this to the database and also changed it. Now, as you can see, there's a list of characters. So let's click on Mark Hamill. Now, he's been in two films in my collection, uh, but everything else is not there. For example, his filmography, basically his information. So let's get it. So make sure you're Mark Hamill or another actor and click download. And there we go. There's all his information. Save. And there you go. All his information. Well, he's, look he's looking old now. Oh, Mark Camel. There's his um, biographer. There's his filmographer. And if we come down to here, you can see there's a little dash. That means he. I've actually got these two films Mark Hamill is in. So if I had, for example, which I do, Return of the Jedi, it'll be in there. And if it was in another 
film or TV show, it would show up also. There's a lot more to this program, guys, um, but I just want to give you a quick overview of what it was like. Um, it's a pretty cool application. It really is. You can try out the demo. You are restricted to 50 films, though. So just give it a go. See what you think. Um, there's plenty of help there. Um, for example, from the website itself, you've got a FAQ and a forum, um, which they, are, they will be very willing to help you very willing so anyway guys this has been illusions of grandeur i hope this has been helping as i said if you're a movie lover this is this is a must it's a definite not even a must you know you, you've got to get this software if you love movies and if you have a lot of them in your collection not just physical but on your hard drive also because it would be very good to you also anyway guys i've been me thank you for listening please rate comment subscribe and i'll speak to you guys later